Just laying in my bed like normal people do. Isn't this what normal people do too? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, hey, there's my phone. Hello? I want me gold! Who is this? I want me gold! Come on, who is this? I want me gold! <laughs> who is this? Well, nobody's ever asked me name before. Oh, dude. No one's ever asked anything about me before. That's fucking sad. Be me. It's giving me gold! Your life sucks. Oh, running away and screaming and hitting me with things and throwing shoes at me. Hey, hey, calm down, calm down. It's gonna be alright, little guy. Presuming you're little. Hey, hey, can I do anything to cheer you up, man? Come you know, on. You know what you could do is review Leprechaun Origins. Do you mean Leprechaun Returns? Do whatever, just Okay, okay, I'll review it. I'll review the movie. You do that for me? Yeah, I'll review it. But you don't know where the gold is, right? No, I don't know anything about your fucking gold, okay, dude. Bye. Alright, peace out. What a fucking loser. The following film contains graphic violence and material that may not be suitable for younger viewers. Parental discretion is advised. I just want to say I was expecting a certain level of stupidity with this film but my expectations were exceeded <laughs> not in a good fucking way because this film is for lack of a better word that's gonna be my new thing I'm gonna that's gonna be my new thing I'm gonna say that now for lack of a better word for lack of a better word this movie is it's stupid yeah you're stupid and let me, let me tell you why this movie's stupid. It's not stupid because it's about a talking leprechaun that goes around going, I want me gold! No, that's not why it's stupid. It's also not why it's stupid because the leprechaun has to clean shoes every two seconds. No, that's not why it's stupid. It's also not stupid because there's this bunch of just like random fucking college people running around taking selfies with a leprechaun. Oh, no, wait, yeah, that's why it's stupid. They have the leprechaun taking fucking selfies with people in this movie, guys. I understand that the leprechaun's been to space. He went to that hood the one to that one time, and it didn't work out that well. <laughs> but uh, this is just... God, come on. Like, come on. You can't... You can't... Hey, bro, let me take a selfie. Like, no. No. <laughs> just, just no. That really irked me in this film. I know that might be just like a minuscule thing in this film, but... To me, that was a real big, like, what the fuck? I literally paused the movie as I was watching it, and I said to myself, What the fuck? And then I continued watching it, and I continued saying, What the fuck? Like, a lot of times. <laughs> um, okay, let me get into what the general plot of The Leprechaun Returns is. The Leprechaun Returns is a direct sequel to the original Leprechaun film, and it actually features one of the original actors, this guy right here, and he kind of plays a good part in the film. I don't want to say good because there's nothing good about this film. Uh, he plays a part in this film. <laughs> He's there. I don't want to spoil anything even though this movie was probably spoiled from when it was conceived as an idea. Oh, but I'm not going to spoil it. Maybe there's some Leprechaun fans out there that are just watching this movie to hear if it's uh, somewhat entertaining. And I can answer that question for you right now. 
it's kind of not. <laughs> These Leprechaun movies aren't good without Warwick Davis, the original Leprechaun. They instead use a Leprechaun that looks like this, that looks like Freddy Krueger's head on an infant's body, and who sounds like this? And then sometimes sounds like a witch, and then sometimes sounds like he's uh, Irish, and then sometimes doesn't sound like anything, just sounds like a guy. So that's really fucking weird. Also, I don't like that this movie is trying to use the excuse of, hey, we know we're dumb, we're trying to be dumb, look how intentionally campy and stupid we're trying to be. No, just no, no. You can't just acknowledge that you're stupid and then be like, ah, they'll forgive us for it. No, you're just a stupid movie, it's just stupid. Acting stupid is just stupid. It's the equivalent of, like, knowing you can do better as a person, but you act stupid just to fit in with other people. This is what this film does. And uh, you know what? I'm not surprised. It's a sci-fi channel movie, and it's a sci-fi channel quality level of film. I mean, not to... I mean, I am kind of fucking bashing those films, but I mean, you would think that they get this IP, the Leprechaun, right? Which is, it's kind of a big IP. People know this character. you think that they would maybe, you know, try to do something, you know, fresh and original with it, but no, they, no, 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 not these guys. Nope. They got the Leprechaun formula and they took out the main ingredient, Warwick Davis, and they were like, yeah, we don't fucking need that. Let's just do everything else that the Leprechaun does, but add this other Leprechaun that's really fucking annoying to watch. I've got a lot of killing to make up for. <laughs> so that's what this movie has going for it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to sit here and like, I mean, sit here, I'm not going to stand here and just like demolish this movie, which I kind of feel like I've been doing. Um, it does have some, some cool stuff, like some of the deaths are alright, and they do use practical effects, which I do find cool, but when they use CGI, it's, oh dear lord, is it god awful. It's like the level of CGI that I use in my films, which isn't that good. <laughs> But, you know what, again, what did I expect from a movie like The Leprechaun, honestly? I didn't expect modern art. The original uh, first Leprechaun film wasn't modern art either. It wasn't a, a cinematic masterpiece or a fucking horror film that you're going to write home and tell your parents, I watched a scary fucking movie today. It was just a movie that was fun and charming and was like in the same vein as like the Gremlins. It's creepy, but yeah, it's also kind of funny. However, The Leprechaun Returns is neither creepy nor funny nor charming. It's just stupid. Just stupid. <laughs> uh, and even the characters in the movie react to the leprechaun very weirdly. They, they see him and they're just kind of like, Oh, hey! What's up, bro? And the leprechaun's kind of like, My gold? Have you seen it, my, bro? my boy? And they're like, No, I haven't seen your gold, bro. And he's like, Alright, later! <laughs> like, what? What the fuck? And, I don't know. And the movie even has such a low budget that they use the excuse of that the leprechaun needs a lot of gold and he also needs to kill a lot of people in order to use his full powers. I see right through you, movie. You just didn't have enough money. Which is fine. I mean, that's cool, right? Whatever. But I mean... <laughs> uh, another thing about this film is that it's... Uh, it kind of tries to like play on the fact that you're going to have nostalgia for the Leprechaun character and... If you're a kid or a teenager or someone that didn't really grow up with these films or really even watch these films, you're not going to like this movie. I mean, let's just be honest. I mean, it's probably good, a good movie to put on and drink, uh, drink a beer to and laugh at, but that's all this film really is and that's all this film really it was ever going to be. Uh, so what's my final verdict for this film? Guys, I'm going to have to give this film a... 3.5 out of 10. It's a very lackluster. It has poor direction. The story is just, there really isn't one. It just revolves around some college girls going into the old house that uh, was featured in the first Leprechaun movie. And uh, one of the characters is the daughter to Jennifer Aniston's character. And that's pretty much the plot there. The Leprechaun is revived for no reason at all, <laughs> for no reason at all, and he just runs amok and tries to kill these kids and they attack back and that's all it is guys. So uh, my final rating for this is a 3.5, um, like I was saying, it's lackluster, it's predictable, it's it's boring, it doesn't have any charm, it doesn't have anything going for it, the only thing it has going for it is that it's stupid and it seems to be very proud of that. Well, guys, I'm Ryan T, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of Saturday Night Horror Theater. I'll see you in the next one.